What is up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 4. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the video. I really do appreciate it. And if you're a part of the Turtle Club already, thanks for coming back, peoples. We got a fun video planned for today. So, we are going to be upgrading our mob farm today, and we're going to get right into things. So, I've already got a few of these made up, and what these allow the mob farm, or the mob fan to do, is so when this thing is activated with a redstone signal, let me grab a redstone block. I'll show you guys. And if we activate it like this, it gives a, it just pushes mobs out. And you can upgrade how far it goes. So if we type in mob here, this has a, uh, you can upgrade how far it pushes. Uh, so we can have it like exactly what we want. And I wanted to do that before. Oops. Okay. So like this one, it's a height modifier. So if like a spider were to crawl up on a wall, this would still be able to push it off. We probably won't be using this very much. And then we have a mob fan upgrade. So this is a distance modifier. So you can, you know, get that, get it precise to how we want it. And so if we add in the width, as you can see, we're getting pushed all the way over here, all the way over here. It's fine. So like the fan is, the fan is working, working on the railroad all the Yukon day. So we're going to go and we're going to upgrade these. And we're just going to swap, um, I think, two or three of these out. You can hear all the Owen Wilson creepers, and I'm gonna get some dirt for the scaffolding on the side. I just remembered that, and because we got to dirt for days, and then we're also gonna be moving all of our stuff, like our bonsai pots, are gonna be down here. Oh wait, do we have any compact machines? <gasps> we could do that. Move all of them into one block. That would be amazing. So let's do the mob, uh, and the reason we're able to make these upgrades, as you can see, they require feathers. Uh, up here. Wow, I've made a chicken farm, just a normal uh, chicken farm, like a vanilla one, a AFK one. And as you can see, we're getting lots of food and feathers from it. So uh, that's why we have all that stuff. Let me turn that down. Hostile creatures, I think it's this. Yeah. So it's three from the top is where our one is. So it's gonna be like, I think here. Yeah. Okay. So there are fans there, but these ones are too good. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I just said wow too. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> he just ran out and punched me in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay. <laughs> that was legitimately funny. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Let's see. I mean, he's some. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to come out and punch me off. Oh, man. Oh, that's a great start to the video. <laughs> I hope you guys thought that was funny because I thought that was hilarious. Okay, so let's go ahead. And I need to light up that place so that we can get these fools out of here. And the problem is, is the fans are, um, there's, there's a certain point where they overlap each other. And so because they're getting pushed either way, there's basically no fan push-its going, push going on. Okay, so let's get a light in here, just like that. And this creeper is being brave. Do we have my yo-yo? Where's my dang yo-yo? Bro, you like defying stuff. Nah, we need the yo-yo. Just yo-yo them up. I didn't realize this, but the yo-yo, you can actually use it to retrieve items as well. So it's like a boomerang in Zelda. It's pretty neat. So we're gonna we're gonna be getting some better ones. I love that. I totally didn't make that noise, by the way. You can't prove it. Okay. So here we go. We got the yo-yo of power. Wanna get wrecked? Have some yo-yo. Come on. You want some yo-yo? You want some yo-yo? Come 
Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let go of my fan. I'm going to yo-yo you up. Mmm. Nope. He's hurting. Yeah. That yo-yo. Okay, I need to cut like a lot of that out. <laughs> There's too much yo-yo fighting going on. Uh, so I'm going to place this here, like this. I don't think, yeah, there's no creepers here. Ah! Don't do that. Well, there's a, uh, I don't know what that guy's called. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that did not go well. <sighs> what was that? You begin to feel comfortable handling the iron broadsword. Okay. Maybe we need to put some better damage stuff on it. Let's get out of here. Okay, so let me do some stuff. I'll be right back. Holy cow. Okay, so I finally have this thing cleared out. Nothing's gonna spawn in here anymore. We only had one mishap and it happened over. Oh, we had two, just kidding, that one too. Um, but we're going to be testing these guys. See how far they can push. Now, if we were to just put one right there in the wall, we give it the max width upgrade, show area. Okay, so we can fill in all this. The cool thing is we're just going to need one per side, which is amazing. And then there will be a redstone block there. So we need to get one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So we need five of those range upgrades per one. Oof, that's going to be a lot of... A lot of stuff. Okay, so range. 15. Okay, so that's a full level. Let me get some more of these too. Okay, so we got 40 of those. Okay, so we're not gonna use actually we're gonna try to we're gonna try to do as much as we can. Okay. So this will be great because this will it'll push to an exact area. So we're just gonna do five each. We can do ten, but we're just gonna do five. That's the work area. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, right, let's let's try without. So we know it'll work over here. We're gonna do is do that so it won't be able to push us, I think. We might be falling a bit quicker than I'm expecting, but it has the range upgrade. Let's try it again. Really? Range upgrade doesn't work. Oh, it's because of the torch that was directly in front of it. Okay. So let's see. How far is it actually going to push? So need one, two. Oh, we just need three per side. So let's see. One, two, three. Yep, and that's pushing all the way to the end. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and the cool thing is, is I believe we have wireless redstone stuff. Is this it? Oh, that's power. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make this. And that is going to be how we turn the farm on and off. Okay, so let's go on down there. Oof, got some planning to do. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we are on the last one now, which is pretty cool. I've gone ahead and done the all the other ones except for this one here that we've been entering the mob farm in. And we'll just kind of look around. I'll show you guys how it's looking. So each of these uh, wireless receivers is connected up to a wireless transmitter. Unfortunately, you can't connect, like, multiple to one, which is kind of lame. Uh, and it requires a lot of uh, the receiver or the transmitters, but it's okay. Uh, so we're just going to build one here. And I do have the ladders. Perfect. So this time we're going to get out. And all of the other ones are already on. So we don't have to go back and worry about them. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to block this off. Throw that here. And so this is all I'm doing. I'm taking that. I'm putting a wireless receiver up here. And then you right click it. Or sorry, left click it with a wireless transmitter. And then I take this. And if I do that, I'm not going to be able to get out. So let's move the hold here. That way I can place it like that. And then to do three wide and then one, two, three. And there you go. We're done. So actually, um, we're going to lose these ladders, but it's fine. Could we get them back? Let's see. Oh, we got them all back. Cool. And boom. So that's all good to go. Let's head on down to our base. I almost jumped off. We would have surely died. Okay. Okay, let's do this. That's all gone. Do that. That's all gone. Ooh, that could have been bad. I'm really glad that dirt and grass are two totally different things. Or the vein mine doesn't work in between them, which is good. Okay, so let's go set up this guy over here. And I'm going to put this here just to be safe. Boom. All right, so now these are all running. That means the mean <laughs> that memes <laughs> that means the mob farm is running as well. Let's go ahead and break these. Is there any light? Oh, there is some light up in there. Let's do some investigating. I think a torch just fell or something like that. Yep, there we go. Let's bring it on down. All right. Oh, as you can see, if you get a little too close, it pushes you off into the middle. Go like this. And mob farm is... The pushing is done. Uh, I do want to revamp the killing system here. Uh, this, this has been working pretty good. And so as this, we can uh, set up another chest for that. One of those big boys. One of those big chesticles. Let's have a look here. Yeah, one of these. I got a lot of slots. It's like my favorite chests in the game. And, you know, we can just put that, like, right here. And so it'll be pumping into that. We don't have to worry about that. We also need to uh, get automatic coal up in here or switch up the power source. Because this is getting us our pink slime, which we use to make stonework factories. So that's cool. All right. Now I'm going to do some research on the best mob grinders and best setups and all that. So I will be back in just a little bit. All right, so we got some progress has been done. Oh, well, yep. I went to the nether and found an air charm. Pretty neat. What did he do? I don't remember. Nope, we got to go up. And uh, honestly, not a whole lot has been done. I've just been AFK here, but we do have 13 ender pearls, which is going to be great for later on. Uh, I was also looking at a mob masher. Uh, you guys might have heard of it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not because I, I need to push them into these in order to work. And then we also need to get a redstone signal to it and pump things out. And the way our farm is set up, I don't know if this is the best design. Now, the only reason we would want to do the other one, which we might do for like a wither skeleton farm um, with one of these, is because we can get beheading on it, which you can get 100% chance beheading on these guys. So check it out. Over here, this is beheading. And if we check out the beheading, um, so look, plus one max of 10. So if you have 10 of these, it's 100%. So this is not 
expensive at all. And I think this is the way we're going to go with our solo farms, uh, because these will count as uh, mob or player kills. But for our general, you know, just getting like ender pearls, stuff like that, I think we're going to stick to this guy. And I do want to get off of the combustion generator because the nether has quite a bit of lava and it's designed to have quite a bit of lava. So we're going to be trying to do that. So let's check out a pump here for the next maybe episode. We have this fluid pump here, which would be a good one. Very easy for us to make now. See, look at that gold, gold. Look at this, look at this machine casing. Look at that, boom, in there. And then we just need more of these. So cool thing is we have a bunch over here and this flying charm is throwing me off. It's throwing me for a loop. Oops, threw it on the ground. Okay. And then we're also gonna not get rid of all these guys because we don't need them. We don't need them. So let me just put all of them in there. Like so. Didn't get them. We got 57. You smelt these bad boys up and we get it. Bam. I also gotta check something over here. Did this get clogged again? So the, the bummer thing is because this takes. No, this one won't get clogged. So cool. Because that takes, uh, I think it's five resin for four acorns, uh, eventually the acorns are going to get built up. But if we have auto mode on, I don't think it'll allow it to uh, do it. How's our iron resin? Yeah, so we don't have any. So as soon as iron resin comes in, it instantly goes away. But we do have a heck ton of other resin. We even got emerald, and we got a lot of redstone. So we're gonna probably have to just like throw that stuff away because we don't need it anymore. Cause it's not good for anything. Okay, so that's our glowstone resin. Here's our emerald. This is our menril. Gold. Wait, I already have a gold. Oh, this was for the all the stuff I would need for it. So what I'm gonna be doing off camera is for one making basalt because that's what we're going to use in this room quite a bit uh, but i'm also going to be uh, taking one of these bonsai pots and putting them on a the chest so that way i can get all of the items in here that come out of a bonsai because i was talking to my buddy psychotic butcher and he's pretty sure that if you don't have a slot for things so like for right now we don't have any anywhere for the the saplings to go in this one so eventually it's going to cause lag on the server and if we have a bunch of these going on he's saying that it could it could really affect the performance of the world so we're just gonna nip that in the butt and uh, we're gonna like take all the items out there, the sapling, the leaves, all of that. We're gonna make them a, a file and we should be okay after that. But all right guys, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. Sorry for the shorter one. I did a lot of work on this off camera and uh, I pretty much did, I should have t did a montage of it, but I, I really, I, I didn't unfortunately. Um, so we might be actually like building up on the side of this and doing some more around here in the next few episodes. I also want to get into mystical agriculture here pretty soon. I did just make up our first seed over here. I went to the nether. That's why I went to the nether and I killed up a bunch of mobs so that we can get this guy. And it's just our infirmium seed. And so we're going to keep doing that. We're going to get more infirmium and eventually just climb the, climb that big ladder of mystical agriculture because I think... Uh, what do we have a harvester? Sorry, I couldn't see. Let's go ahead. Let's right before we end. Let's go ahead and make this up and see if we can get this to work. Okay. We need a lever. I do have a lever. Actually, I have one lever. Our system's acting weird. I think we have an input, like an input where it's double reading a chest, so we might have to fix that. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a forester. Oh, I feel stupid. It just plants things. I feel dumb. We need this guy. Harvester. Okay, so emeralds. Okay, we have everything except for obsidian, I think. Which we can make some real quick. Just grab a bucket. A bucket. I need to put that in here. Come on, I typed, I hit you, come on. Don't do this to me, I got three, okay. Um, bucket. Actually, we just need one bucket. We need a water source. 
So three buckets will be suffice. Oh, shoot. Too fast. Too furious. Stay not update quick. Sink. There we go. Okay. So we need to grab... Oh gosh, dang it. The stupid air charm. Get out of my inventory. <laughs> I keep jumping. I want to like, run jump, and it does that. Did we get some obsidian? We sure did. Okay. Okay, well, it should be enough for what we need. We need a harvester. Harvesty. Got a harvesty. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. It's like I was preparing, kind of, in the back of my brain for the past few episodes. What? Oh, shoot. Wrong way. Oh, it does need power. Okay, well, let's get a generator over here. I'm going to run a hopper into it because I want to be able to, because uh, I'm, I'm going to go over, I'm going to be leaving here from my house. I want to be able to go AFK, so let's get a hopper going. A hopper, just like so. And then we're going to need a crate. Yeah, like this. And we're going to need a generator. A generator. This guy right here, simple combustion generator. There we go. All right, let's get you out. Let's basically just clear out our. Oh, I needed that, but well, to find it later. Yeah, we don't need any of you. So let's take this coal. I believe it's like this, right? No, that's for diamonds. Whoops. Whoops, the daisy. Here we go. That's it. I click this a few times. That should be good. That's definitely plenty good. We need to do this for our mob farm, too. So here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Shebang. Oh, there we go. We're generating power. The whole area. I'll keep it at that. Five by five for now. Now, unless I just moved it over one. Like that. And then we can just put this here. Put this here like so. And like so. Like that. Now it's generating power. Yeah. Yeah. It's doing only a single area. Three by three, so now it's doing the base. Cool. And we'll have to come here and just smack out this pumpkin whenever we want. Have a look. Pink. There we go. Four potatoes. Cool. So we're going to let that run. I'm going to wrap up the episode for today. I'm going to go AFK a while, guys. And then we are going to be working on some awesome stuff in the next few days. But if you guys do enjoy the video, if you did, make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'm out. I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much. Goodbye, you beautiful soul.